everyone, so this video is going to be about how to look and feel sexy and confident this Valentine's Day. And I do a video like this every year around this time because I like the little tradition of it and the products change and the routine slightly changes but the concept is still the same and it's just to pamper yourself, make yourself feel the most special and sexy because even though your other half probably thinks you're gorgeous and amazing when you are just totally lounging around and not making an effort, sometimes it's nice to kind of make that effort and make yourself feel good. So I've got some products here that I'm going to share with you that I think will help you feel your best. The first thing I want to talk about is the awkward topic of hair removal. And if you're not someone who is bothered about hair removal then totally skip this step and maybe like skip this part of the video because it's totally something that's down to personal preference but for me I'm a little bit obsessive about being smooth and I like to kind of feel completely clean and smooth because I just feel like that makes me feel more sexy. So whatever method you're choosing to use is totally up to you but make sure that you um, are completely hair free and I always make sure that I've had a good bikini wax as well because that just makes me feel so much more confident and sexy. So I will be doing that before Valentine's day and if you shave and that kind of thing just make sure that you've done everything and that you're feeling all smooth and perfect and pampered and you will definitely definitely feel more sexy then the next step is to make sure your skin is feeling absolutely lovely and I've got a couple of products here that are really important using a body scrub again is really great to make your skin feel soft and lovely this is the body shop um, body scrub and this is the sheer butter body scrub and it's just a lovely kind of oily body scrub that looks like this. It's very grainy, it's very moisturising and just using this all over your body is really going to help your skin feel really smooth and nice and get rid of any dead skin cells and also leaves a nice sheen. And then the matching body butter is fantastic as well. This is the sheer body butter. I love all the body shop body butters but this one hasn't got too um, powerful a scent which sometimes is nice because I'm going to talk about some other kind of scent related products and it makes your skin feel really 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 soft so whatever you're doing for Valentine's Day um, I'm going away for the weekend on Valentine's Day so I'll probably do this kind of a couple of days before I go away to make sure my skin's in tip top condition and then I'll follow up with some tanning products. So which again, show you this next. is totally optional. If you like being pale, that's gorgeous as well. I just feel a little bit more confident when I've got a bit of colour. And my favourite fake tan that I'm going to use is the Lauren's Way Self Tanning Bronzing Lotion. Really dark, dries quickly, and the next day you're very bronzed and it lasts a nice amount of time, doesn't go patchy or anything like that. It makes me feel much, much, much more confident when I'm in lingerie or anything like that because this just really kind of helps to disguise any problem areas. If you want to use something that might kind of tone up any wobbly areas and that kind of thing, which I know I definitely do, my two favourites are the Soap and Glory Slimwear. This is just kind of like a peptide rich formula that'll just suck everything in and make you feel a little bit more toned. And the Intrap Firming Gel from Sparfines. This is a new one that I've got that will just kind of help tone your skin and make everything feel a little bit more smooth and toned. It's not going to kind of make you look like a Victoria's Secret model, but it does really kind of um, make you feel a little bit better and a little bit less lumpy. Then if you want to make sure your skin is in tip-top condition, which I always like to do if I'm kind of going out or doing something special, and Valentine's Day is special, it's kind of a nice pampering time where you just feel really loved and do fun things, for me at least anyway. Um, and even if you haven't got anyone on Valentine's Day, even if you're single, pamper yourself, totally go to town on making yourself feel and look fantastic, and you'll just feel so much better. It really isn't a superficial thing, it does make you feel better. So I would use the Ren Glycolactic Radiance Renewal Mask just to kind of give my skin that nice smooth, um, polished appearance and that will really kind of help any makeup I put on afterwards sit nicely. And if you want to see a little bit more about Valentine's Day makeup picks, I've done a um, collab video which is up on my channel now, I'll link it down below where I've talked about my top 5 picks for Valentine's Day makeup so you can go and check that out. Then what else have I got? Um, in terms of just kind of scent in general, I really like having a nice shower gel because I feel like the scent really stays. This is the Body Shop Strawberry Shower Gel and this is just really nice to kind of have a nice shower with in the morning and you'll kind of feel all energised and like you smell good. But I've also got some products that make your hair smell nice and this is a really interesting concept. Now I used this last night and this is the TG Foxy Curls Contour Cream. Really, really nice. All the TG products are lovely. but 
this smells so good it just smells amazing and I would just pump a couple of pumps into my hands and scrunch my hair if I was wearing it curly like I am today if I was going to straighten it then I'd use something like the S Factor flat iron shine spray this is the full size I have had a sample of this before and I really liked it but it's just a kind of spray and it smells amazing again it's not the same scent as the foxy curls it's kind of a slightly milder scent but it makes your hair smell nice and ask guys and guys will tell you that they like it when girls have hair that smells nice so I really like this and then another great product whether you're wearing it curly or straight I'll probably wear it straight because I'll be away for the weekend and it's something that I don't have to worry about but this is the TG Catwalk volume collection your highness firm hold hairspray this smells amazing it doesn't smell like hairspray, it's got a really lovely scent and you can just kind of spray it everywhere and zhuzh it up and get a bit of volume going on and it's really, really nice. I really like this. And then last but not least, I've got just a couple of fragrance options because again, you want to smell sexy and lovely and I've picked the top three that I get the most compliments on um, from men when I'm wearing them. The first one is the original Stella by Stella McCartney. I actually had someone come up to me in a train station once and tell me that I smelled lovely when I was wearing this really beautiful fragrance it's very um feminine and very classic but floral it hasn't got any of those kind of slightly older grannyish notes it's just a very beautiful beautiful rich fragrance really recommend this i don't think you could not like it then a cheaper version um is the kim kardashian original fragrance again i really like this Men always comment on this. It's slightly sweet and it's slightly floral and it's a very sexy, sensual type of scent and it lasts really well on the skin and not many things do on me. And then last but not least, my current obsession is the Narciso Rodriguez for her. This is super sexy. It just kind of, it's floral and fresh and grown up and just sexy. It's a very, very sexy fragrance. I know I'm kind of battering the word sexy. I'm bringing sexy back. But um, it just, smells very girly and beautiful and again men really like this i went to work a couple of days ago and i was wearing this and my boss asked me what perfume i had on and that i smelled good this is a good one so those are my top picks on how to make yourself feel fabulous and sexy this valentine's day i hope you found this helpful if you've got any tips that you'd like to share with us then don't hesitate to leave those all in the comments below and i hope you'll have a fantastic valentine's day and just remember even if you're not in a couple um have a great valentine's day just you go out with your girlfriends go to the movies watch a stoppy film i really want to watch that endless love movie that they keep showing the trailer of on tv um and do something fun because you can and you deserve to do something nice so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a big big thumbs up if you did and i will see you next time bye